So then, here we are, we're with Enterprise E, and we're going to be taking a look at his latest ship which he's brought to the line of review. So what is the name of your ship, buddy? USS Dauntless. The USS Dauntless? Tell me a little bit about her. Um, well, this ship appeared in a Star Trek Voyager episode a while back. Yep. And I liked the design of it, so I thought might as well give it, have a go at it. And four hours flat, and I had this done. Well, it has come out really nicely. I'm not going to lie. Um, obviously, this you is only the first ship I've shots. had a proper good. I've had a proper go at like pentas and tetras and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just taking a closer look at that now. I mean, I'm, I've got to admit that's one of the ships. Wasn't it like a ship from the future that wasn't actually? It was an alien ship that it was, was a, yeah. like, being disguised by the alien itself. <laughs> right. He had a personal <laughs> grudge against the Voyager crew. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So it was one of those. But yeah, it was a cool-looking ship. Very futuristic in design, definitely unconventional for a Federation vessel. Yeah, kind and earlier this organic. one had a bit of a earlier had a bit of a test of this thing against some of Zero's pirates. Yeah, didn't go that well. Oh really? Ended up having a few holes in it. <laughs> I'm actually so, uploading pictures onto G Plus later, just showing what happened. So what's going on with the interior then? Obviously there is one. So uh, show me a yep. few of the main points of interest. Well, there's the bridge at the top centre. Yeah, the bridge at the top. There we go. Ooh, nice chair. Thank you. Quite a basic, but an interestingly cool design, in fact. Yeah. I like that chair. Okay, you obviously you've got your stations. Got yep. All four stations. Got a view. Screen. For the record, I have filled in every single space that I can inside. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Other than that. the rooms themselves. Other than the rooms, yeah, I'm seeing that. It is totally filled. So you've got storage below, crew areas mm. on each side of the corridor. There is also back. a dual sick bay, so there's two sick bays on the same deck as the cargo wow. bay. Oh, okay, you've got like f many floors. What's this? Like a discussion room, or is this a walk uh. call? What is this? It looks a bit weird. It's got a thing underneath. Is it a red light in the centre then? Four bits yeah. pointing up. Yeah. Oh, that's like the power core this ship. That is the had. power core. Yeah. Oh, right. Because it was like from the future or something. and actually. It's just a different... Game. It's an alien race altogether. Exactly, yeah. They were just trying to pretend. They were faking the funk. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what do we got down here? We've got some weapon systems. Exposed beacon under there. That's really cool. I like this. Do you want me to show you the actual weapons firing? Uh, not yet. Don't move it. Hang on. Okay. Uh, this thing also does have salvage arrays and astro technician beams, so which emanate from the deflector dish. Comes in. Corridor. It's beautiful. What have we got? Down here. What? System wise? No, I'm just sort of flying around the inside oh, getting right. an x-ray so people can see the layout of the interior. Oh, one thing you won't see from there is just how powerful the engines on this thing is. I mean, on single player I've got, I've made a top speed of 200, it can get there in about two seconds flat. <laughs> and the power is self-sustaining. So it's got enough power for well, that. Well, you can show can me your acceleration in a minute. Show us your weapons for now. Okay. Cool, very nice. That's the only weapons I've got at the moment. That's alright. So, the name of the ship again, please? USS Dauntless. The USS Dauntless by Enterprise E. So if you could now fly on out of the sector, and I'm going to get on to the next ship. Yeah, but at least you got an idea of the acceleration from that. <laughs> pretty much. It's pretty quick. So then, I'm going to go find the next person.